Now to today's focus on the programme and after uh, the series of terrorist attacks in Europe, people uh, really urging their governments now to find ways to protect them. One of the major concerns is the number of illegal weapons circulating right across Europe despite gun laws being relatively strict. Well, as Shirley Sitbon reports, the authorities have neutralised thousands of firearms but traffickers have always found ways to reactivate them. These customs agents are not waiting at the border. They're about to search a house they believe is packed with weapons. They advance slowly, entering rooms only once they know they're safe. The suspect isn't home. His wife is, and she has just received ammunition and a gun part. The operation is dangerous. A police dog unit is there to help find the entire arsenal. They found a whole range of weapons, many illegal. Some are collection pieces which haven't been neutralized as required by the law. Reactivating them is easy for an experienced trafficker. Changing one of the rifle's parts is enough. Unfortunately, some people don't realize that the gun orders they make and their resale could fall in the hands of organized crime groups or of militants ready to commit acts of terrorism. These weapons are used in movies. They were neutralized and can't fire bullets unless someone reactivates them. That's what did Amédi Koulibaly, the gunman who attacked a kosher supermarket in January 2015. He used the same gun model, a VZ-58. This weapon was deactivated. Two holes were made in the barrel. The people who reactivated it only had to fill it with pins. The chamber hasn't been changed, neither has the breech, nor the gun frame. You just need to fix the barrel to be able to shoot for real, which is exactly what was done to a weapon used in a recent terrorist attack. More than a year before the Hippel Kasher attack, the European Commission issued a warning about so-called neutralized weapons. It said, law enforcement authorities are concerned that firearms which have been deactivated are being illegally reactivated and sold for criminal purposes. But no action followed until two years later, when European lawmakers opened a debate. When you neutralize a gun, it's no longer a weapon. It can be passed around anywhere across Europe. We should trace neutralized guns like they're real weapons. Illegal weapons circulating in the EU usually arrive from its eastern members, whose laws on neutralized firearms are more lax. Police estimates show there are about 30,000 illegal weapons in France alone. 4,000 are weapons of war.